Do you know that Sita was actually supposed to be ruling Ayodhya in the absence of Ram? Kai Kai ordered for an Amazon parcel with a deer skin and a bark garment for Sita. And that set everybody ablaze in the fact. The first vocal elder out of all the people there was Vashishta, the great mentor, guru, preceptor for the Ikshvaku Vamsa. And what did he say? Hey Kai Kai, you have crossed all limits. Why would you be so wild? And he said, what has Sita ever done to deserve this? She was never part of the two boons and therefore she will not go to the forest dressed in this manner. He says, in fact, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Kai Kai, I'm going to retain Sita here. She is going to take the same asana, the throne that Rama was supposed to take. A man's wife is considered his Atma, his own self. And therefore she will rule the earth on behalf of Rama. So he said, Pala Ishyasi Medini. And the beauty of Ikshvaku Vamsa, the beauty of our civilization, is Dasharatha immediately also joined in to say, Sita was never part of this. This all started like a play, but it is actually ballooned to be something so big and wild. Dasharatha makes this statement, that she's such a young, tender, sweet girl, who's so accustomed to comfort. Why would you want her to go through this? The time we get a glimpse of this is when Rama suddenly sees animals running helter-skelter when they are in Chitrakuta. At that space, he asks Lakshmana immediately, can you check what's happening? Lakshmana is able to see that at a distance, there's a huge army coming their way. And he recognizes this as Kshatrunjaya and the great Shatashalakaya, the special umbrella of Dasharatha. He thinks it's Bharata who's coming to actually kill us so that he will never have to lose this kingdom even after 14 years. So Rama feels so bad that Lakshmana thinks so ill of Bharata and admonishes him. Then Rama tells him, it is Dasharatha who has come to see us. And he says, our father knows that we are not accustomed to living in the forest like this. But definitely, whether he takes us there or not, he has come to take Sita. The ethos that was set in the times of Ramayana, that the women and their rights, they don't have to speak for themselves. It's the men who see to it that they have their rights in place. And that was so beautifully exemplified in this particular instance. So then comes the question, why is it that Sita did not rule Ayodhya? So the answer to that lies in two points. One is as part of the two promises that Dasharatha made. The first promise was that Rama will go to the forest, but that was not the important one. The more important one was that fact that Bharata will rule for that 14 years. So that had to happen. Rama will not let that fall. Dasharatha will not let that fall. Because Rama is going to exile, there is no way Sita is going to stay back here because Sita told him that wherever you are, that place is Ayodhya for me.